It is February and that means many of us will be spending time celebrating Valentine's Day. So I thought I would curate a list of some multiplayer games you can play with your partner. Now for those of you that won't be celebrating Valentine's Day, no need to click off this video as this list is full of multiplayer games that you can have fun with friends or other loved ones playing together. So here are 10 fun multiplayer games that you can play regardless of what device you play video games on. Starting with Haven, in Haven you play as two lovers as they settle into an unknown world. You will need to explore the planet, find parts and materials to fix your ship and make it a cosy home. You can also do tasks like cooking inside your ship. When you encounter enemies, a battle will ensue. These battles have a turn-based style of combat, where you can pull off synchronized attacks between the couple. Just note that Haven isn't split-screen, so the added player cannot glide too far away when out exploring. Despite this, Haven is a sci-fi adventure you do not want to miss out on. Moving on to a free game that has multiplayer, and that is Genshin Impact. After completing a certain amount of the story, around 10 to 12 hours worth, multiplayer does open up in this RPG, allowing you to travel together, complete quests and defeat high level bosses. Please note you will need to be on the same regional server for multiplayer, so make sure that when you're first creating your characters, you agree on which server to play on. With a stunning art style, cute characters and fun gameplay, as long as you can resist the temptation of spending your, your money on the in-game gacha, there is no reason not to try Genshin Impact. Another fun co-op game is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. You can play through the whole game together with options to play either locally, on the same system, or you can go online to play multiplayer. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is a fun beat-em-up style game where playing as Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, April O'Neil, Master Splinter, or Casey Jones, you will be in non-stop combat taking on Shredder and his faithful Foot Clan. One of my favourite games released in 2022 was Kirby in the Forgotten Land, with one of the best features of the game being local co-op. One player plays as Kirby and the other as Waddle Dee. Now only Kirby gets the copy ability, but Waddle Dee does have a spear to attack with. The game is charming and fun. It also isn't too challenging, so it's perfect to introduce non-gamers into the world of video games. But now, maybe you're thinking, what about a challenging game? Well, I have you covered with Elden Ring the brutal open world RPG by From Software. It is challenging and all types of frustrating. It also has a huge array of options when it comes to play style. Multiplayer works by summoning someone into your world and vice versa. The summoned player cannot lose their accumulated runes if defeated, with the trade-off of not being able to pick up certain items, whilst the player who summons the other in can lose their runes upon defeat but they can also pick up all items to be found in the area, such as items from chests. Do note though, when playing multiplayer, you can be invaded by random players online, and the multiplayer is very sectional in the sense that you have to summon from certain areas. And if anybody leaves that area, then the multiplayer will be disconnected. Regardless, it is still a fantastic multiplayer game for fans of hardcore RPGs. Moving on to something a little more cozy, and this is Doraemon's Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom. I have mentioned this game multiple times on my channel already, and I have a full review if you want to know more, but one thing for certain is that it is a great cozy farming game that also has the ability to be played cooperatively. One player will play as Nabita and the other as Doraemon as you go about the day, farming, fishing, mining, cooking, and so much more. Plus, it has a charming story of friendship tying the game together. Moving on, we have Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Now, this is a Lego game, which means it is perfect for non-gamers. It is aimed at children, but it's also perfect to relax too. It's not too difficult. There are puzzles in it, but most of all, it is a lot of fun. And I really love the humor within the Lego games. There is no better way to enter the Star Wars universe and play with a friend, a family, or loved one in this multiplayer game. Now to a classic, there is nothing better than facing off against someone you know, and for this reason Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a must-play multiplayer game. With both local and online options for playing, the variety of tracks, the fun mechanics, and the vibrant art style are only some of the reasons this game is so loved. 
plus with more DLC tracks to be released, there is no better time to jump back into the game if it has been a while since you last played. Now for a game that you may have missed altogether, let alone realised it has multiplayer, and that is God of Protectors Cart of Darkness. This game has you play as a protector for the princess. Before each battle, you pick your character, equip their weapon and assign their skills. The battles play as a mix of action and real-time strategy. Your main job is to protect the princess who is travelling in a castle on tracks. It is a beautiful mess and provides chaotic battles. Worth a look if you're into the retro art style and a challenging strategy game. Now for a game that released today, Blanc. All I can really say about Blanc is what I've seen in the trailers and read about. It is an exclusive multiplayer game where you can play as either a wolf or a deer who get lost together in a sudden snowstorm. With the black and white aesthetic and hand-drawn art, it all looks so beautiful. I definitely think this will be one to check out. I hope that gave you some ideas of games you can play with your partner, your friends or your loved ones. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!